Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Harvey's new eyes and I'm gonna pick up where I left off last time. Enjoy. Lumpy was hungry, or he was tired, or bored. It was always hard to tell with him. The cheerful flower seemed to like Lily. At least it bent forward just a touch when Lily came close. Stop dawdling. Feed the cat. Hey, where are you going? Feed the cat. Is that really so hard to understand? Feed the cat. I'm waiting. What am I supposed to feed the cat? Lumpy's bowl was nicely decorated. Life as Mother Superior's pet was probably wonderful and fulfilling. What do I feed the cat? Oh, there. My own cat is hungry. Stop! What on earth are you doing? Bad, Lily. Very, very bad. You oh. should really know that Lumpy doesn't eat regular cat food. Um. Hmm. But you've disappointed me for the last time. Here's the recipe for the right cat food. Bring it to Doris, the lunch lady. It contains exact instructions for preparing Lumpy's food. Doris can also find my lunch order for today on there too. Do you understand? Uh-huh. And now, get out. I have to prepare for Dr. Marcel's arrival. I'm hoping that his new method of correcting character flaws will save me this kind of trouble in the future. Oh. Lily felt miserable. Maybe Mother Superior was right, and this character correction would make everything better. The thought made Lily shudder. She had heard stories about Dr. Marcel. Dreadful stories. She should tell Edna the news. Oh no. Dr. Marcel, you say? This confirms my worst suspicions. The doctor and I still have an old score to settle. I'm sure he's coming because of me. <sighs> Lily, I can't stay here any longer. I'm going to leave the convent and go into hiding for a while. There's just one catch. That guy Garrett, who's constantly lurking around, I think he's spying on us for Mother Superior. So long as he keeps poking his nose into everything, I can't move freely. Do you think you can find a way to keep him off me for a while? Uh-huh. Oh, Lily. You're such a gem. What would I do without you? He sounds evil. Lily didn't have any talent. Mother Superior only allowed her to embroider crosses and lines. But Lily could barely manage even those and often received a scolding. Lily didn't have but gawking at my hairdo. Don't tell me you've got your eye on my original Marushu Naoki hairpin. Can you believe it, Shy? Don't believe. Just know. The warriors of light see with the power of love. Just who does she think she is? Hiroyoshi Superfrog's arch enemy Soki Nuroshi Maya Yoki Hagatsu? Down with the dark forces! Trust in the elf magic of the glitter dust. Exactly. Everyone knows that a real Shibuya girl will only part with her hairpin if it's a real emergency, and only if facing death. Muroshi Sparkle, mystical spirit of the wolf, mystical spirit of the wolf, Kamanukri, Shing. And anyway, what even makes you think we'll let you have any of our personal things? You haven't launched any radical paramilitary campaigns or done anything to help destroy the state. We can't let the dark forces win. Plus, you've never helped us destroy the school. 
Does being warriors of the light really mean we have to destroy the school? It seems a little too hardcore to me. But Riot Girl does it too! On page 31 in volume 453, she puts one of Nagayuzu's detonators in the teacher's lounge when the dark forces kidnap Musushi Rainbow. Shibuya is cool! Miyarushi Sparkle! Wow, that was, that was a lot. Ugh. Shibuya power! Shibuya power! She girl, you're so clueless about trends. Just look at how you dress. Don't you know that Shibuya and only Shibuya is hot right now? Where's your glitter? Where are your Japanese accessories? Miyarushi Sparkle! Miyarushi Sparkle! Shing! Shing! Uh, huh? Oh man, you're really out of it, Lily. I already told you, you're not getting my hairpin. Only a true warrior of the light is worthy of it. Powers of the light, call upon the moon spirits. And until you start helping us fight the dark forces with a cool paramilitary campaign, don't even think of asking for our help. Miyarushi Sparkle! Miyarushi Sparkle! It's a lot of words. What's that supposed to be? A Marashu Niyoki Shibuya accessory? A sweet little Pokemon? Or a weapon to combat the dark forces? Shing! Shing! Uh-uh. What else should we do with it? I don't know. Uh-huh. Garrett was already there. Lily watched how her slippery fellow student disappeared into the chapel. After him! It was hopeless. Edna's balloon was hanging out of reach. It was... Ed have here then creepy lily how did it go with mother superior leave her alone shawnee only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault we're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert that's right memphis and we can't play outside anymore either is it asking too much to want to know why stop picking on her you don't really think that lily of all people has done something wrong do you she's just not cool enough for that Exactly. She's such a good girl. She rakes, she cleans, she cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Ever since you came to the convent, it's been one strange accident after another. I uh, hardly dare get out of bed anymore. But none of this is your fault, is it? After all, you only do what you're told. I'm sure you're even running an errand for Mother Superior right now. Let's see what you've got there. Shawnee. Aha, I knew it. A recipe from Mother Superior. Well, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Let's see how Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. And this time, our sweet Lily can face the music all by herself. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're off. You're impossible. Aw. What are you creeping around here for? Feed the cat! Don't tell me you're done already! Uh... No. That's what I thought. I am slowly losing the will to keep constantly having to remind you ch ch children of what good values are. Take a look at the embroideries on the wall. They depict all of the important virtues. Superiority, strength, and self-control. Um... 
I'm quite aware that self-control is missing. Do you think I'm blind? <sighs> now leave. I have to drink a calming tea. If you pass the classroom, remind Birgit to hurry up with your embroidering. If the self-control motif isn't finished today, I will really blow my top. Oh, he took the recipe. Um, what was that? <sighs> you impertinent little slug. I can't stand it when people gossip about me behind my back. The youth of today is becoming ever more insolent. No wonder, with all the violence and foul language in the media. If I could, I'd twist your heads off one by one. Uh, where are my cannon jars? I need something to calm my fingers. Otherwise, something terrible might happen here. <sighs> Anything else? Do I have to explain it to you with puppets? Meal time ended long ago. The only thing that I'm still cooking today is food for Mother Superior's cat and the food for Mother Superior herself. Or I should say I would, but my knife disappeared. And on top of that, the stove in the cellar has gone out. So I couldn't cook anything anyway. However, the most important thing is that Mother Superior still wanted to send a recipe to me. You don't happen to have it on you, do you? <laughs> don't bother. I won't be able to cook without my knife anyway. Ugh, when I get my hands on the child that stole my knife. They'll be amazed with all the things a knife can do. <laughs> no recipe? Uh-uh. Yeah, then there's no reason for you to be here. Um. Oh, forget the recipe. As long as the stove in the cellar is out, I won't be cooking anything anyway. Hmm. What's the matter? Why are you staring at me like that? What are you even doing here between meal times? I know what I'm doing here. A jail sentence commuted to 10 years community service on probation thanks to diminished responsibility. Blah, 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 blah. Do you really want to hear this? Uh-uh. Yeah, Mother Superior didn't want to hear it either. And as long as she doesn't ask about it directly... Um... Uh, now I understand. You came to complain about the food, right? Well... Then I have bad news for you. Children only get food from canning jars. And that's that. My hands are trained to twist the lids off. I haven't been wringing the necks of caged chickens for 20 years for nothing. Plus, I've got a court order that says I gotta open 10 jars a day. You can thank my idiotic lawyer for that. Her throat must hurt from all the screaming. You? Before you ask for more food again, it's been hours since I held a canning jar in my hand. My hands always get a bit nervous at times like this. They break everything they touch. Children's legs, children's arms. I just can't control them. Um... You're starting to get on my nerves, child. Meal time ended long ago. And as long as the stove is out and I don't have my knife, the kitchen is staying closed. So there's nothing for you here, unless you have Mother Superior's recipe. All right. Let's take a banana. A coconut. And an apple. Oops. And let's head out. Coming to get her recipe back. If it isn't our little goody two shoes, Lily, you better split before I tie your shoelaces together. Or worse. Uh. Oh, you really want the recipe back, don't you? Uh huh. Well, I didn't know that. Just give me a sec so I can wrap it up for you with a bow. Hey! Lily was touched. It was so rare for her to get presents. <laughs> 
You so don't have a clue, do you? Get lost, Lily, or I'll be forced to call you names. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a real badass. <laughs> Just face it. You're not tough enough to make any demands around here. He's gonna burn it. Uh. Tell me, how come you even dare to come here anyway? You know we're not allowed to play in the garden anymore. Or did Mother Superior send you? You could tell your beloved Mother Superior that I don't give a damn about her stupid rules. Ha! But I bet you're too scared. You're scared of your Echo, right? And you should be, because one day, when you least expect it, who knows? You might turn around and see that someone has stolen your milk. <laughs> He's so good. Well, well, well. What's this? Is this you standing up for yourself? <laughs> Just look at you, Lily, with your bow and your braids. You don't actually think you can stand up to a bad boy like me. Do you? I was playing with matches before you said your first morning prayer. How could I ever take someone like you seriously? Do you know how to spit cherry pits or hunt sparrows with a slingshot? Just face it, you'll never be as tough as me. And that means you won't get your recipe either. What? Now you're upset? Did the nasty boy bother you again? Uh-huh. <laughs> you're such a crybaby. Um... Have you lost your mind? If you want the recipe, you'll have to come get it. I knew it. You're just not tough enough for a rebel like me. <laughs> Shawnee didn't seem to be interested. Lily had to find some other way to impress him. Shawnee didn't... Lily knew she wasn't supposed to play with her food. Food was such a sore loser. And when it started acting up, Lily would get scared. Shawnee didn't Lily knew. And when it started... Huh. What can I use? Shawnee didn't What's this? Where had Garrett gone? The chapel didn't have a second exit. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. No, nothing. I thought I detected a resonance echo in the floor. And where there's a resonance echo in a floor, the hollow space can't be far. A crypt. Or a hidden pool salon for Templars with outrageously hip hairstyles. What? Your question is completely justified. What would Templars be doing in a pool salon? It's just one of the countless mysteries surrounding the Templars. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Did they get a group discount ticket for their journey? And who was their hairstylist? There is just one answer to all these questions. The great church conspiracy and we can be certain that the evidence is buried beneath these stone slabs if only i had the right tool to dig it up oh. um find it i have it uh. Shh! you're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs and if they lose their illuminescence they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore and there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols when I see them. Where there are Templars, a secret crypt with details on church conspiracies can't be far. If only I had the right tool to drill them out. Then all I'd need to know is which slab to drill under to get my hands on the church conspiracy. If it's one that has a neck, because there are those with a neck and those without. Lily was impressed. Everything Frank said made sense.
Um... Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. There's a lot to talk about there, but unfortunately, most of it's secret. And without the right tool, I won't be able to uncover the secret. So either you go and get me the tool I need, or you just leave. That would be fine with me too. Uh... Shh, for a second. Oh, great. If there's just been a landslide in the Templar's subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are you supposed to uncover church conspiracies if you keep getting interrupted? Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. But compared to you, they're as quiet as church mice. I have no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. Alright, here's your tool. Ah, very good! That's exactly what I need. Now, if I only knew where to drill. But such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. Oh well, I'll just start. He talked too much. Whoa. Damn! How am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hey! Frank! Frank! Ah, what the hell? Lily spent a lot of time in the confession booth. Only she knew what she mumbled during those long hours. At least ever since the father who took her confessions had died of a heart attack. Damn, how am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hey, Frank, Frank! Ah, oh, what the hell? I'd like to be able to say that Lily had a plan. That she was thinking about luring Garrett into the confession booth and locking it shut with a bar. But Lily was just thinking about ponies. A surveillance room. That was the hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior. A surveillance... The cross wobbled back and forth like it was dancing. Lily briefly considered whether she should point it out to Frank, but he was busy drilling through some kind of anchoring. Shawnee didn't seem... How am I gonna get my recipe back? Lily wasn't able to loosen the screw with her bare hands. She needed a different tool. Aww. The mask was tightly screwed into the wall. But did that also mean that one wasn't allowed to take it? No. It only means you have to find the right tools. Something small enough. The screws. Oh, what luck. Lily was relieved. Oh my god. <laughs> the mask was tight, but did that also. <laughs> oh, what? Hmm. <laughs> 
them put to them. <laughs> oh, weird guy. At night, Mother Superior placed her kettle over the fire here. But at this time of day, she preferred to drink her calming tea in the cafeteria. At night, but Ooh, deadly nightshade. I'm planning to kill her, aren't I? Why can't I go? There we go. A note was pinned on the receipt holder. Dear, crossed out, Ms. Zimmelback, I have to say I'm very surprised by the way you fulfilled my request to send me a pet for my student's classroom. I had a real animal in mind, one that conveyed important values. Like a puma or a boa constrictor. But the guinea pig you sent is useless to me. I've pickled it in alcohol to save it for the dissection class in biology. Send me a proper animal immediately, or you will not have heard the l l last of me. Regardless, Mother Superior Ignorance. Oh. Lily didn't want to spoil her nice friendship with the flower. Plants were the only things that still listened to her. Lily didn't want to spoil plants were the only thing. Mother Superior had forbidden Lily from eating the deadly nightshade berries, but no one had said anything about taking them. Lily didn't want to spoil her nut plant. Am I going to should I kill the cat? I don't know. Lily didn't think that Lumpy would eat it. Okay, that's good. I don't want to kill the cat. I'm not sure what to do next. Lily had always liked the large painting in the main hall. It showed a dining table after a big meal with a man in the center who had found the last cookie. <laughs> Lily giggled at the thought that he would eat it all by himself, no matter how much the others begged. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. Mother Superior. Oh, so why should Lily bother? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, wait. No. Not sure what to do next. So I think I'm going to take a break. Uh, but that's Harvey's New Eyes. Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.